Let's take a look at some of the fundamentals for the core motion framework. When we talk about the core motion framework for this course, we're basically talking about using the accelerometer, gyroscope, and magnetometer, which is effectively a compass. We're going to be using the CM Motion Manager class. With that class, we can either pull manually for data, or we can have it provide us events, and we can receive and handle those events. The polling is a lot less CPU and battery intensive, but receiving events is typically a nicer architecture to work with. So depending on your app requirements, you might make a choice there. Neither one is particularly more complicated to code, and we'll see that. The accelerometer measures acceleration, and it measures it in three planes. You can consider X and Y to be left and right, so if the user is shaking the device from left to right, there will be accelerometer readings in those directions. The y-axis goes up and down. The z-axis essentially points from the screen directly to you looking at the screen, and in the negative direction, points out away from the phone. If you lay a phone flat on a table and look at the accelerometer readings, you'll see that the z-axis will give you a reading of about 1, and it's measured in g's, which are the Earth's gravitational force. So what it's saying with that one reading for the z-axis is that there's one gravitational force being applied to the phone, which makes sense because gravity is holding the phone down to the desk that you've laid it on. The gyroscope measures rotational forces, and it measures a rate of change. So with the accelerometer, you can lay the phone completely flat on the table and measure the gravitational force. But with the gyroscope, if you just lay it flat on the table, you won't see a thing. So it actively has to be being turned in one direction or another. It's measured in radians per second, and there are two pi radians in a circle. So 360 degrees is equal to two pi radians. You might need that math in the future. There is also something called the right-hand rule. And what that means, if you hold your hand on an axis and point your thumb in the positive direction, your fingers will give you the positive direction for the gyroscope, for that rotation. So if you look at our figure, with the hand at the top, you can see that the thumb is pointing up in the positive direction of the y-axis, and the fingers wrap around and show you the positive rotation. So what this is saying is if I'm holding the phone straight up, and I start twisting the left edge towards me and the right edge away from me, I'm creating a rotation that reads positive. If I twist the right edge towards me and the left edge away, then I get a negative rotational value for the y-axis. The compass is exactly what you would expect. It measures headings relative to the North Pole, and it uses magnetic fields to do that. So, if you happen to have a magnet right next to your phone, it might not actually measure the North Pole. It might, instead, measure where your magnet is. But that's the way a normal compass would work anyway. So that can cause inaccuracies, so you just have to be aware of that, and it's really more of a user learning thing than anything that you can particularly do in your app. So these are the three primary sensors that we're going to be working with in the motion framework. In location services, we're going to be working with GPS. People fairly understand a GPS at this point. It's essentially giving you your current location. So we'll be working with that as well later on in the course.